Thanks for rolling up to Lil Marley, the certified pilot. Spark on one of my, uh, at the dude's blip joint. I know you about to do, man. Let's go ahead and get in there. Marijuana sales are giving a big boost to city and state budgets with millions of dollars in tax money coming in every month. ABC 10 News anchor Jared Aaron's got hold of the most recent numbers. He takes an in-depth look at how it's split throughout the state and what it pays for. Okay. Okay, I was about to say where we at. It's right there. It says California Holistic. So I'm guessing we in Cali. Um, Cali actually uh, been bringing in tax revenue for uh, marijuana for 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 a while. So I don't I don't know if they changed the breakdown or some shit. I can't imagine that they they changed the breakdown. Um, let's let's see. Those are your fun ones. At California Holistics in Chula Vista. Sounds like a good day. Roberto Labastida is buying marijuana to help his parents manage their pain. So your total after taxes is one fifty eight seventy one. He doesn't really pay attention to one fifty eight seventy one. How much? How much? How much weed did he get? The taxes on the receipt, even though he knows they're there. It's just the nature of the beast of living in Southern California. When I pointed out that his hundred fifty eight dollar. Oh, real quick. Let's look at this. So a hundred a hundred thirty dollars minus six, so we put him at one twenty four for the subtotal exercise tax is thirteen dollars. City tax eight dollars, sales tax twelve dollars, and the use tax. 15 cent. So that's four fucking taxes, bruh. That's four taxes. Look at that. 25. 30, $33. That's $2. $35 in taxes. Ugh. It seemed it seemed like I don't know what percentage that is. The tab included more than thirty dollars in taxes. Thirteen dollars in an excise tax, eight nine dollars in a city yeah. tax, twelve dollars in a sales tax. He didn't flinch. Honestly, I I probably sound ignorant, but I try not to think about it because I know Cal. We live in tax California. Potential tax revenue was a major reason California voted to legalize recreational marijuana in 2016. Five years later, as dispensaries have sprouted up across the state, the money is budding just as fast. According to the California Department of Tax and Fee Administration, the state has made $3.76 billion since 2018. From it's 2018. Four years, $3 billion. And this is all in tax money? <coughs> God damn, this is crazy. What are they doing with this money, bro? From excise, cultivation, and sales taxes. In just the first three months of 2022, it brought in $293.5 million, nearly $100 million per month. On top of that, cities added their own taxes. San Diego has 24 dispensaries. From January through March of this year, the city's 8% cannabis tax brought in $5.4 million. Chula Vista has a 7% tax and made $671,000 in that same time from just five businesses. Official. Five businesses? Almost did, almost did a million though they owe. Yo, they, they making money like crazy over there in Cali, bruh. And this is just tax money? 
How much are they? How much is the weed business bringing in on its on its own, bro? That shit got the she got to be double digit billions. From both cities tell ABC 10 News it all goes into the general fund with no strings attached to how it gets spent. People were, you know, very skeptical and they didn't think, you know, that, that the cannabis operators would even really pay their taxes. David DeLal is the managing director of California Holistics and Tory Holistics in Sorrento Valley. Then we paid $15 of, of excise tax, $15.25. We paid $5.49 of city tax and we paid eight dollars and 67 cents of sales tax he showed us how his stores list all the taxes separately to be as transparent as possible with customers they had to develop new software to keep it all straight delal feels the taxes prove his store follows the laws and while marijuana may be cheaper on the black market a legal dispensary he says offers better security and a cleaner product there were that that is true though on the black market, bro. On the black market, bro, I get my dank pennies, pennies compared to what y'all spending in dispensaries. But my my dank, my dank. Dude, there's no telling what I get, bro. That's one of the, the issues. Like my nigga say, bro. This is this is this is not I mean. This is Cherry Chucks, from uh bag boys but i have no way to, to know that shit There's, i have no way to know that at all that's that's one of the problems with grabbing shit off the black market a lot of uh, i think myths and stigma associated with cannabis and you know with having a, a cannabis store in the community and you know so so it's nice to see that you know none of those myths came true and that a lot of the stigma is starting to disappear. Now, as the industry gains more acceptance, Dalal hopes taxes come down. At the end of the day, we operate like other businesses, you know, so why should the consumer have to pay such a high tax burden when it's really just like any other retail store? For customers. That's a fair point. That's a fair point, but that's, that's it's gonna take time for that. It's gonna take time for that. Right now, right now they got the high tax because it's still an illicit product. Though your state may be recreational and shit, it, it, it's still it's still an illicit product as far as the feds are, cons are concerned. Or it's like La Bastida. If there was a, a ship full of tea in the harbor, we would be dumping it out, right? But, you know, it is what it is. It's still a price he's willing to pay. Jared Aarons, ABC 10 News. Now, National City, Santee, and Encinitas are all putting regulations and taxes together to allow for dispensaries in their cities. Dalal says he's not sure if that'll bring in more tax money or just spread the business out to more stores. After being, I think I think that's a fair, fair, fair idea. I think it's a fair idea. Um, taxes with recreational was always in the cards. Um, it's kind of what it's kind of like what helps uh that shit pass. In some in some in some parts of the country, where um if it wasn't a guaranteed tax on it, yeah, y'all y'all a lot of spots would still not have rec. Um, it's just yeah, it's 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 just the nature of the beast, bro. So they they may come down in the future. I'm not. I don't know, bro. We just we just gonna have to see see what happening, bro. We still got to get what what is it nineteen nineteen more states. Wait, or is it 19? So we got to get more states to go fucking recreational before any of that shit happens anyway. 